Hey guys, Buffering Game back with another video today for our weapon conversion series, and today we're going to be covering the Warzone build of the Odin or the Ash 12.7mm that I've been trying out. I think I really want to recommend this weapon, and we put out a poll yesterday on the channel to compare this to the SCAR to see what you guys thought was the better weapon in multiplayer or in Warzone. So specifically in this poll, you guys voted 73% for the SCAR or the Mark 17, and 27% for the Odin or the Ash 12.7mm. So today we're going to be covering the Ash 12.7 or the Odin. We'll cover the build, what I think of it. We'll show you some gameplay with this so you can see how it handles in a Warzone game. And then I'll also be linking the videos down below for the previous conversion series that we've done if you want to see how this thing handles in multiplayer. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here's the final design for one of my solo builds. I'll be showing you the solo build as well as a build that you can utilize in trios and quads today. So let's go ahead and back out. What I'm going to do is strip this down to the base Odin. Now first we'll start off with the solo build if you're running in Warzone in solos what i would like to run here i've played with this weapon a lot i think basically since day one of warzone's release if you guys were tuning in the live stream back then you saw me use this a little bit more as a dmr i've covered this video or the weapon for the dmr videos in the past utilizing it similar to a vks with that conversion but i think it excels more so as an assault rifle at close to medium range so we'll go ahead and cover that here so first attachment we're going to want the monolithic suppressor again this is going to help with the sound suppression as well as damage at range is going to be increased the cons being the ads speed and the aim walking movement or excuse me the aim walking steadiness so we'll go ahead and select that that's a re really important task because it's going to help you stay off the mini map um, off the radar there when you're firing you wanted a suppressor and with this weapon we want to utilize as most as much damage at range as possible so that's why we'll go with the mono suppressor then for the Barrel attachment, we're going to go with the 810 millimeter Odin factory barrel. This is the longest barrel attachment for this weapon. Again, this is going to help to increase the damage at range and the bullet velocity. So that's going to go hand in hand with the monolithic suppressor. It's also going to help us with the recoil control, which with this weapon, such as a 12.7 millimeter, essentially a 50 caliber round, it is going to kick a lot. So we want to help mitigate that as much as possible. So that's going to help with that. The cons for this attachment are the aim down sight speed as well as the movement speed for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select the 810 millimeter barrel. Now, typically in games, multiplayer, I really like the TAC laser. For quads and trios, not so much. But for solos, typically you're in one-on-one -on -one engagements most of the time, so you don't really need to worry about giving away your positions too much. So with the Odin, the mobility on the weapon is really slow, so we want to help increase that as much as possible, especially with the ADS speed. So the TAC laser is going to assist with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. The con here being that the laser is going to be visible at enemies only when you're aimed down sights. So just be careful as to where and when you're aiming down sights. If you're pre-aiming a corner or something like that, pre-aim slightly to the left or right on the door or the wall. That way your laser is not going to give away your position. Now, optic going to really be personal preference. I have been running with a VLK three times optic. This is a Russian magnified sight on this. You can really run whatever you want. I'm not sure. Initially, this helped to decrease recoil on a weapon back when the game first came out. I'm not sure if they ever patched that, but regardless, it is a really good optic for precision sight, and it helps you to see where your shots are going and adjust quickly with this weapon due to the recoil. So again, this is really personal preference. Another one I would recommend if you're not gonna run the VLK is the Integral Hybrid that Leopold Hammer is gonna help you with the 3.25 zoom as well as the red dot sight for closer quarters engagement. So, VLK, again, this is a three times optic, so that's your only option here is that three times scope. However, the field of view with this seems to be much better than some of the other optics, specifically for this weapon to help mitigate the recoil and keep your shots on target. Now, stock, we're going to go just with the standard stock. We're going to skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip. And the ammunition, we're going to leave at the 20 round magazine for this because we're running with solos. It's a very high damage round in weapon overall so we can afford to just run with a 20 round magazine you're going to easily drop you can drop two to three people with the one magazine if you really needed to so under barrel attachment again this one i'm going to go ahead and do the ranger foregrip this is going to assist with the recoil control and the aiming stability for the weapon the cons being the aim walking movement speed as well as the aim down sight speed for the weapon this is really going to help us to mitigate that recoil as much as possible really give us the best option for this weapon I've run with this without the sight, without the scope, and or excuse me, without the range of foregrip and with it, and it definitely helps to reduce the recoil and keep this weapon a little bit more controlled at longer ranges. If that's how you're trying to engage, if you really are trying to engage at closer ranges, you really don't need an underbarrel attachment. You can use that perk elsewhere. But this is our solo build for the Odin or the Ash 12.7 millimeter 
assault rifle again this is really going to be a close to medium range engagement and if you really need to engage at longer range you have that three times scope on there so you can tap fire or even switch to single fire to tap fire at range and you're definitely going to hurt your target so that's our solo build now when i'm running trios as well as in quads some minor adjustments here you can really pick and choose these how you want so first off i could you could either get rid of attack laser and throw on the 30 round ammunition here so the 30 round ammunition you're going to go from the 20 to 30 so you're adding 10 rounds of that 12.7 by 55 millimeter so you're increasing your magazine capacity the cons are the ads speed because you have more weight on the weapon and the movement speed so again you're just going to be slower overall with this so i've measured the ads time with this it's really if you're running with a squad you can honestly i think you can afford it and you've given those extra rounds which is actually going to help you engage targets longer without having to reload so that's one option another option here is you can get rid of the foregrip now if you're again that's really going to help out with longer ranges but since you have the 30 round magazine on this now you can go ahead and go back to attack laser and that's really going to help you with the ads speed and just the overall movement speed for the weapon really when you're ads and it'll help you get on target faster and then you have those extra 10 rounds in the magazine to afford to miss a few uh, specifically at range you can still just tap fire so if you're very careful about how you're firing not just pulling the trigger down at medium to longer ranges you're going to have more than enough ammunition to drop your enemy so this is our build for trios or quads and i've also run this in solos as well i think it handles again this build handles really well you can really pick or choose back and forth between some of these attachments but right now i think my favorite is going to be this as far as recoil control but i've won a couple of solos and some trios with both the builds so this is our odin or our ash 12.7 millimeter go ahead now and jump into the gameplay just show you some clips of this and i did as i said i got two wins with this just in solos alone uh the past two days just playing with it pretty casually and by the time in solos by the time i get enough money to get my loadout drop to actually be able to pick this weapon up every time i've actually gotten the loadout drop and been able to, to use this it seems to have be a really good game i'm either first place or top two or three every single time so it's really the hardest part is just getting enough money via the scavenger contracts and whichever other contracts or wherever you land to get the money for your loadout and really get yourself in a good position the, the one thing i really like about this weapon as i said it really just devastates in solos but even in trios and quads i've taken out entire squads with this weapon just with the one 30 round magazine, a full squad. And I think someone commented in the poll yesterday that they preferred the Odin just because you can completely wipe a whole squad in one magazine. And they won't even know what is happening, which is very true. This weapon is a powerhouse. It hits like a truck and it really excels at this close to medium range engagements. That's really what the Ash 12.7 was designed for, was for the FSB, for CQB in urban combat environments for the FSB. So. That's really where this excels. I've tried it, as I said, as a VKS for extended ranges as a DMR, and it actually does work really well there, but I really prefer using it like this. And again, that optic is really going to be personal preference if you want to have something that's going to allow you to have a candid red dot sight on there. Also, for when you're in those closer quarters engagements, that's really going to help you out as well. But the key to using this weapon, I think a lot of you said in the poll yesterday, as I said, the voting was pretty one-sided for the Mark 17 or the Scar H. The... The poll, 27% of you said you preferred the Odin for multiplayer in Warzone, and 73% said you preferred the Scar or the Mark 17 over the Odin. So heavily favored is the Mark 17 or the Scar versus the Odin here. So I really wanted to get enough gameplay and time with this in Warzone as this particular build to see if I can compare the two. So next up, we're going to be covering the Scar and see how that handles in Warzone. Obviously, with a higher rate of fire, a little less recoil. So we'll see how that handles versus the odin and i think some of the comments were saying that the odin or the ash here was a better defensive weapon which definitely true i noticed i excel using this you don't really want to run and gun or rush with this weapon specifically you'll see in the engagements i'm trying to put myself behind cover as much as possible so i have a tactical advantage on my opponent in that way i can be on cover and able to get shots down range on them as fast as possible without having to really be exposed you don't really want to get caught in the open with this weapon because that's where you're going to lose gunfights specifically to things like the m4 the growl or the m13 with those really high fast rates of fire so this weapon really you want to use it a specific way i prefer to be on cover you can definitely run a gun with this if you have attack laser on and your aim is right on point depending on what kind of situations you're in but definitely very satisfying when you win gunfights against guys with m4s m13s 
and growls with this thing. It draws people very, very quickly. Um, definitely one of my favorite underrated weapons, I would say, in Warzone versus the, the meta guns, which we see all the time. Like I said, they're the M4, the growl, as well as the M13 seem to be what everyone's typically running with no stocks and these goofy looking attachments, but they come in with solos and even in quads and trios with this Odin build and just destroy those kind of kinds of people is very satisfying. Definitely a really great gun overall. And again, it draws people very fast. So let me know what you guys think of the Odin or the Ash 12.7 in multiplayer as well as Warzone. What kind of attachments you prefer to run on this? I like I said, I think this is some of the best builds for solos as well as trios. You can also really play around with the different barrel lengths for there. It really depends on how you're going to be engaging enemies. But this particular build, I think, is very well balanced for engaging enemies all around when it comes to close quarters as well as longer ranges. So very good weapon. I think this definitely ranks up there as one of my top weapons for Warzone. It, again, it hits like a truck and you're going to drop people very quick. So let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon in Warzone, in multiplayer, what attachments you like to run on it, and we'll be covering the Mark 17 or the Scar in a future video for the Warzone series, but go ahead and let me know down below, and until next time, Buffer and Gaming, out. Gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Eliminated. 